There's a friend in Fimble Valley that we're on our way to see. To hear him tell his stories, maybe stay for tea. He's a mole who's living underground, and his name is Roly Mo. Roly, 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 Roly Mo. He's the rolliest mole you'll ever know, and his name is Roly Mo. Hello to you. How do you do? We're going to do some painting today. We're decorating. Let's go and find Uncle Roly. Ready? Then off we go! Whee! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, hello there. And how are you today? I'm just trying to choose what colour to paint a bookshelf. Hello, Uncle Roly. Oh, oh, hello there, little Bo. I was just telling our friends that I'm trying to choose a colour for my shelves. Should it be red? Red? Oh, yes, red. Red's a lovely colour. Go with red. Red it is, then. Oh, what about yellow? Oh, I like yellow, too. And your bookshelves would look the moliest if they were yellow. Go for yellow. No, red. Oh, no, yellow. Ah, you see, little Bo, that's just my problem. I really can't decide. Do you think a story might help, Uncle Roly? It just might. Shall we go and find one? Oh, yes. Story time with Roly Mo. My favourite time of day. You go! Me go! We, we go! go! Amigo! Let's a go go! I can't wait to start painting your shelves, Uncle Roly. Neither can I. The only thing we have to do is decide what colour to paint them. Mm. You go. Yes, me go. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking painting? Yes, it is. Yes. Then let's a go go. Amigo. Oh, look, there's the paint. Yellow and red. Let's help Roly with his painting. Good idea, bro. But which colour? Um. Yellow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Red. <laughs> when you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Hmm. Books over here, books over there. Find me a book with a story to share. A book about some colours, if you please. Ah, lovely. Now then, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. <laughs> ben and Charlie liked different colours. Ben's favourite colour was red. Charlie's was yellow. One morning, Charlie decided to have a one-colour day. He put on a yellow T-shirt, yellow shorts and yellow socks. Today is yellow day! He shouted. But Ben put on red shorts, a red stripy top and red slippers. Today is red day, he said to Charlie. At breakfast, Ben put red jam on his toast. Charlie put cheese spread on his. I've got an idea, said Charlie. I'm going to eat yellow food all day. And I'm going to eat red food, said Ben. What are you going to eat, Ben, said Dad. Ketchup, said Ben, and tomatoes, and... Mm. He couldn't think of anything else. My favourite colour is blue, said Mum. What could we eat for blue day? No one could think of any blue food at all. 
But when it was supper time, there were plenty of red things for Ben. Red tomatoes, red ketchup, red peppers, red beans, red juice to drink. Ben ate it all up, even the red beans. Charlie had yellow cheese, yellow pineapple, yellow chips, yellow sweet corn, yellow juice. Charlie ate it all up. Then Dad put a bowl of cherries on the table. Oh, no, said Charlie. I love cherries, but cherries are red and today is yellow day. Dad put a bunch of bananas on the table. Oh, no, said Ben. I love bananas, but bananas are yellow and today is red day. Mum put bananas and some cherries on their plates. I think today is red and yellow day, she said. So do we, shouted Ben and Charlie. Red and yellow. But I still can't decide. Oh, neither can I. Think of a colour, a favourite colour. What colour would it be? Could it be pink? I just don't know. What do you think? What, what colour, colour will it be? Think of a colour, a favourite colour. What colour would it be? All kinds of yellows, all kinds of blues. I just don't know how we're going to choose what, what colour, colour will it be? So many, many colours, all different colours I think I, I love them all Colours that dazzle Colours that shine Oh, dearie me, we've run out of time Oh, what, what colour will it be? Paint pots have gone. But where have they gone? Ooh. Look, Uncle Rowley. Splodges. Red and yellow splodges. Mm, yes, but what are they doing there? Can we follow them, Uncle Rowley? Of course we can. Oh, what a mystery. A mystery. Let's go. There's no one here. Mm, it really is a mystery. Ooh, look. Here's my mystery book. I wondered where I'd left it. Oh, has it got any mystery stories in it? Well, it might have. I don't know. It's a mystery, you see. Ooh. Oh, Molly Mo, will you read me one? Of course. Molly, Marinda and Molly's gran were at the beach. They had great fun looking in rock pools, but they couldn't find any little sea creatures. Just seaweed. Keep looking, girls, said Gran. They're probably hiding. I'm good at hiding too, said Molly. Let's play hide and seek, said Marinda. You two hide, said Gran, and I'll come and find you. Gran closed her eyes and counted slowly to ten. Here I come, called Gran. But it didn't take her long to find Molly. And it didn't take long to find Marinda either. How did you find us so quickly? asked Molly. Easy, replied Gran with a chuckle. I just followed your footprints in the sand. Oh, yes, said Marinda. Can we have another go? So Gran closed her eyes again and started to count. Marinda whispered something to Molly, and off they went to hide. Gran finished counting, looked at the sand, and went straight over to a big rock. Found you, she called out, and out popped Marinda. Well, I found you, she said to Marinda, but I don't know where Molly can be. 
There's only one set of footprints this time. It's very mysterious. Here I am! shouted Molly. But how did you get there? asked Gran. There's only one set of footprints. Did you fly? No! laughed Molly. I didn't fly, but I walked in Marinda's footprints. We played a trick on you! laughed Marinda. Very clever! smiled Gran, and Molly and Marinda giggled about the mystery of the footprints all the way home. What a good mystery! Gran followed the mysterious footprints. And we're following the mystery... the myst... Mysterious. The mysterious splotches. Come on, Uncle Roly. Ooh, a mystery. How exciting. Hmm. <laughs> Come on, then. Let's do some painting. As long as we can paint everything red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Red. Yellow. Oh. Hey. hey. It's you. And me, go. And you've got the paint pots. You're the mystery. <gasps> it's a mystery. It's a mystery. But what are you doing with Uncle Rolly's paints? We wanted to help him to do his painting. But we couldn't decide which colour to use. <gasps> I know. Uncle Roly and I had the same problem. Red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, Maybe yellow, red, yellow. Maybe my busy book can help us choose. Busy book, busy book, let's take a look. Someone is hiding. Who can it be? Is it a Fimbo? Who can you see? It's Fimbo. What are we going to do today, Fimbo? Oh, what's that? It looks like a strawberry. And that looks like a banana. And that's an orange. Oh, look! Red! And yellow and blue. Let's paint the fruit the right colour. Oh, yes! What colour should the banana be? Yellow. The banana is yellow. Now, what colour should the strawberry be? Red. The strawberry is red. And what colour should the orange be? Oh! I said the colour. <laughs> but we haven't got any orange. We've only got red, yellow and blue. How can we make orange? I wonder if we could mix the colours. Yellow and blue makes green. Green is like Fimbo's stripes. But we need orange. Hmm. So what colours do we need to make orange? Shall we mix red and blue or red and yellow? Red and yellow. Red and yellow make orange. Now we can paint the orange orange. <laughs> Thank you, Fimbo. See you again soon. Red! Yellow! Ah, here you are. Now what's all this shouting, eh? Yellow! Red! Uh, oh, I mean... Red! And I mean yellow! <laughs> <laughs> you go! Me go! Me, me and me go! Look! <gasps> Orange! Orange! Our, Our favourite colour! Hooray! <laughs> it looks like it's orange then. Haven't we had fun today? Yes, it's, it's been, been a roly moly day! You will come and join us next time in Fimble Valley, won't you? Now it's time for us all to go. Cheerio! Cheerio! Cheerio. <laughs> that was fun! When we huggled together, the red and the yellow made orange! Let's see what happens if we have another huggle. <laughs> oh, get off! <laughs>